must say, it can get a bit hectic. I think you need to invest in... Oh, if you can drink two liters a day, damn, you're good. I have the most neediest cat of all time. I know. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today, we're gonna do a quarantine skin pamper. My skin definitely needs it. And I'm really excited because today I'm gonna be trying some new products and brands that I've never really tried, or mostly. But has anyone else's skin been acting up through quarantine? Because I know mine has. I, it's just so dry. It's just getting like blemishes left, right and centre and then I get really bad scars afterwards. But to be honest, I'm not really someone that gets like deep set blemishes or zits often. But th during quarantine, I don't know, like it's just coming everywhere. Especially around my nose, like those painful ones. I've washed my brushes, I don't know what it is. So I just need to give my skin a little loving and that's what we're going to do today. I'm also going to be answering some of your questions um, whilst we um, go through the skincare as well. I'm also really excited because we're going to be going through this month's Look Fantastic Beauty Box. This is their May box, which is already available. Look Fantastic already is one of my favourite websites to shop on. And they actually do have quite an affordable monthly subscription box that you can sign up to. So this box kind of has a green um, vibe to it. This is their botanical edition and it's all about embracing plants in beauty and just using products that are free from toxins. That's why I'm really excited to be using this on my skin today. It's full of skincare and just natural products out there. This is what you have in this month's box. You do get a few products in there. What's crazy about their boxes is that they're always worth over £50 but this month it's worth over £142 and these will usually include like cult favourites or new releases, it really depends. You also get a beauty box edit kind of like magazine with um, full of tips and just a full breakdown of what the products in the box do, what benefits they claim to have, also their pricing as well which is actually helpful. We're going to be going through each one in this video. So for one month recurring payment subscription it's £15 which is amazing because the box will always be worth over £50. Um, for a three month subscription it's 14.50, six months it's 13.75 and for a 12 month which I think is worth the value and which I'll be signing up to is it's worth 13 pounds. I also do have a coupon code that you can use which I'll leave on the screen and in the info box which will give you 10% off your six month or 12 month subscription if you guys want to choose those ones. And for me personally the boxes are so affordable and you have a good amount of value inside the box with products that you probably haven't tried before, brands that you don't really know about so it's really good if you like discovering new products and new brands out there and also it's just something to look forward to every month. First of course going to start off with the mask, I've already cleansed my skin. I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right but the first product we're going to be using is the Cori's Hydro Biome Probiotic Super Dose Face Mask. It's worth £9.40, suitable for all skin types, great for sensitive skin. It soothes, hydrates and cools for the ultimate pampering and nourishing feel. I feel like this box has a little routine for you in, in there because you've got like the wipeout in there to take the mask off, then you've got moisturiser and mist. I'm so excited. Can you tell that I'm so excited? So you do get 20ml of product in here. This brush is not included in the box but I'm going to be using it to um, distribute the mask. You can use your hands if you want to. This smells really nice. Hmm. I don't know how to explain that scent, but it smells very fresh. <sighs> I really like that smell. These are the kind of scents I, I look for in masks. I think I'm just going to put a timer for 10 minutes. Now let's go through some of the questions you guys asked. So the first question is, how is living with your family and husband in one house? I assume that you're all living together. We do, and it's great. I'm actually quite grateful because during quarantine, we're all together even though sometimes we literally want to pull each other's hair out we have someone to talk to and laugh with and watch films with and i'm just so grateful for that i don't know what i would do if i was alone i really do feel for people who are alone and it must be really difficult and i've seen i've heard people online who do live alone saying that it's very difficult for them i feel like facetime zoom and all that can only do so much after a certain amount of time because it is important to stay in touch with your loved ones as much as you can, but when you're alone, you're missing that human interaction. Um, so yeah, I, I really like living all together in one house, but I'm not gonna lie, sometimes we, we do wanna like literally kill each other because it can get a bit hectic. How did you deal with your hyperpigmentation and dark circles? 
also your neck. Also my neck. <laughs> I'm joking. I think when I was a bit heavier in weight, I naturally had this like darker line here because I just had a lot of, you know, extra fat, let us say, um, on my neck. I think since I lost that weight, it kind of went away a little bit. I don't really do anything on my neck. With my under eyes and pigmentation, I felt... There was a point where I literally changed my whole lifestyle when it came to water, like drinking water. I've mentioned this before, I never used to drink water for months. It always used to be juices and stuff, Coke. I rarely drink Coke these days, honestly, but it's all about changing your lifestyle. So this mask smells so nice. Uh, I feel like my water intake really helped. I, drink, I tried to drink over a litre a day. If you can drink two liters a day, damn, you're good. I'm very, very consistent with my skincare. This whole like online influencer job allows me to try lots of different skincare products. And I feel like being consistent, I can never, I can never go to sleep without doing a full routine. Like I, I have to have a toner, a serum, a moisturizer, sometimes an oil. Like I do really maintain my skincare routine. I do have various videos on my channel where I highlight products that really stood out to me and which I think really helped my pigmentation. Dermal rolling is something that I recommend to everyone. What is your job and where do you work? I'm not gonna say where I work because because I just won't. But to be honest, I started a year ago. I'm in a very junior role. I work in the risk department in an investment bank. I'm actually very grateful for it and I do learn a lot. It works, it does make my mind work to its fullest. And it's so weird because I do like this influencing stuff on the side and then I work in a corporate bank and it's two different worlds. It's definitely two different worlds. Sometimes I will go to like events in the morning and then go to the office or full phase, take it all off, put my corporate wear on and then <laughs> go sit at my desk. Um, it's definitely different. But yeah, that's what I do on a daily basis. My life is a bit hectic sometimes. How did you find a job after graduating? How long did it take? So I graduated in July and then I found the job like September for all the checks and security checks to go through. I then started in October. When I tell you, when I finished graduating, I was applying for jobs like crazy. I was applying like 20, 50 applications in a day. If I was refreshing indeed, I, as soon as a new job post come, I applied to it straight away. Even before I got this job offer, I had like three or four other job offers before that. I feel like people are so quick to just take up the first one, but is it something you really wanna do? You need to go to the interview, see if you like the people, the company, is the role really for you? But anyways, I'll do a separate video that's on this. But um, yes, I was applying like crazy. I had um, different cover letters ready, my, a good CV. My friend actually helped me with my CV, but there are also like people in the in your universities that can definitely help you with your with constructing your CV for you guys. There's definitely a lot of help and guidance out there if you do go seek out for it. But I think for me, it was just being consistent and just applying like crazy. <laughs> How often do you visit Mauritius? I haven't been since like, I think 2011. I don't even know anymore. We really wanted to plan a trip. I'm happy we didn't do it this year because obviously with everything going on, we that probably would have been messed up. My grandma passed away not long ago. And I don't know, it just, it was hard on us and it's a bit depressing. I didn't want to really go there anytime now. So I will go, I don't know when, but I definitely will go back. And if I do go back, I'll definitely do a meet and greet because I feel like we need to do that. But I first also need to do one in London if that could ever happen, I don't know. Love you loads, cutie. What tips would you give to budding beauty bloggers? Thank you so much, I love you too. Okay, it's really simple. I think you need to invest in... Oh, okay, I'm gonna get back to the questions, but we're gonna take the mask off. So I'm gonna be using this Wipeout Cleansing Cloth by Magnetone. Wet your cloth with warm water and use a circular motion to gently wipe away your makeup. But I'm gonna use it for my mask today. I have the most neediest cat of all time. I know. Oh, I love that this is not like scratchy on the skin. So I'm just using one side to take this all off. Just use the rest to kind of cleanse the skin. Oh my God, there's actually so much dirt on my skin. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit dirty. I put my skin off clean. 
Okay, I really like how that feels really soft on the skin. Skin feels very hydrated right now. There's no, there's definitely no tugging feeling. So yeah, with all these products, I'll let you know how I get on with them. So next we're gonna be using the Avant Ultimate Hyaluronic Acid Resurfacing Duo Moisturizer. Worth a hundred pounds. But honestly, would I really go out and buy this? Like this box has actually like, um, introduce me to a new product and a new brand that I don't really know about and let's say I really do love it let's say it's like gold to me and I definitely see a major in, in improvement in my skin I don't mind investing in my skincare personally so we'll see this claims to give a bright and smooth complexion with the help of its rich anti-aging um, formula it's got shea butter sweet almond oils hyaluronic acid if i really spent 100 pounds on it would i put that much probably not but we're trying it out today <laughs> okay it smells it smells like i don't know how to explain the scent but again it's a very fresh sweet scent which i really like um it feels great on the skin it's not as rich as my usual moisturizers honestly i wouldn't mind wearing this in the day with my spf moisturizer because my spfs are really heavy anyways so yeah, I really like this. So you can use this on dry skin every morning and evening. It's hard to tell with skincare. You need to use it for like ages to really um, like it or see a difference. So if I do like any of these, you'll probably hear about them more often on my, in my videos or I'll probably mention it on my Instagram stories like a few months down the line. Back onto the question quickly. If you are gonna start out blogging, or filming videos or taking pictures i think it's really important to get quality content so invest in a good light on amazon there's so many affordable ones these days honestly you can take pictures on your phone iphones work really great and most big influencers use their phones anyways i've seen so many people start a channel and upload once or twice and then they just give up it's definitely a commitment you have to like what you're doing, post about stuff that you're really passionate about. Then I would say don't compare yourself to others because some people will grow faster than you and it's really hard to not compare yourself. But just focus on yourself, on your own path, your own journey, post about stuff that you like and don't just do it solely for the money. We all know that you can make money from this influencing world and that's a perk but when i started i wasn't making money for like the first two to three years like it was barely anything it, it's a process you have to be patient if you like grow overnight that's amazing but it's not like that for everyone certainly not for me well i've been doing this for like what i think i've been doing this for six years now so you definitely have to be patient just focus on you do it for like a passion do it as for me it's a side thing at the moment um I, ma I manage my time really carefully but it's like an escape for me especially from the corporate world where i can be sometimes a little bit overstressed definitely recommend those tips to you guys and one last one is just be yourself during self-isolation period what is your realization that's a very good question i've definitely realized that i'm a big home person <laughs> on the work side I realize I'm really grateful to be able to work from home because I travel an hour and a half if the trains are good an hour and 15 to work to work that's to work and then another an hour and a half back if the trains are bad it can go to two to two and a half hours <clears throat> oh where did my voice go and it's a pain in the butt but sometimes that journey gives me time to read or watch a show and it's like me time even though sometimes it can be a bit hectic so some days i'm like oh i kind of missed that but then most days i'm like actually i kind of like work um sleeping those extra two hours <laughs> um in bed so when it comes to work i'm I, I actually don't mind working from home i wouldn't mind like going to work like more days in a week and just having one or two days to work from home but i don't know if that's going to be a possibility but it's nice when you can split the two but at the moment i don't mind working from home 24 7 i get to spend more time with my family i get to spend more time with my animals and i have more time to do um other things like working out baking and reading like just stuff i just never got the chance to do before however when it comes to just like meeting my friends and going out for coffee or brunch and stuff like i really miss that and i realized I am the biggest McDonald's fan. I don't care what anyone says, okay? I have never gone so long without McDonald's. But yeah, apart from that, I know that was a deep question, but I'm not mad at the situation. It just sucks that we don't have the freedom to go out and do whatever we want. And it sucks that um, people are dying. It hasn't affected me personally, 
but I know a lot of people are going through a lot of pain at the moment. And I've realised how frustrated I can get when people come outside and clap for the NHS and still do big gatherings outside. I just don't comprehend it. But that is my realisation. <laughs> Jokes aside, it is really sad what's going on. What we have to do to stay at home is nothing compared to the frontline workers and people who have actually lost loved ones and to those that have lost loved ones and weren't able to be with them in their last moments. Back onto the skincare, we're now going to be using the Balance Me Hyaluronic Plumping Mist. Now I love anything hyaluronic designed to replace toner. Well that's too late because I've already applied my um, moisturiser but I'm going to spray it on my hand to try. Oh it smells really nice. I don't know, again, I don't know how to explain these scents, but yeah, it gives a nice little glow there. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. So now we're gonna move on to the more makeup-y products in the box. So next we have the Dr. Lip 100% Natural Moisturizing Color Lip Tint in Sweet Potato. Now you guys know I absolutely love this. Um, this is worth three pounds, it is the mini. I have the full size in the red radish one and I have gone like through it like crazy, especially when I was working um, in the office. I don't have this one, so it's nice for me to see. I get to try a product that I do love, but in a different shade. That feels really nice. So I don't really see the tint in it like I do with the red radish one, because it's a bit darker, but it's hydrating. This stuff feels so nice on the lips. I'm already a big fan, so I'm glad I have another one to add to my handbag. So the next question is, what motivates you? I think what really motivates me in terms of like blogging and filming stuff, what I really like to do is look at my old videos, like my old creative videos, and that just gets me going. Every time I feel like in a slumpy mood and I just don't want to film, I look at all my old videos, all the creative ones I did, um, and it just gets me going. Um, when it comes to being healthy and fit, I just, um, again, look at my old photos. <laughs> Um, and I just think about how I used to feel before. I used to feel awful about my body. I felt awful wearing anything at all. So yeah, looking at old pictures. I do like to look at like fitness pages, fitness videos. All of those things really help me. Okay, finally from the box, we do have the Ico Brow Gel. I do have the Ico eyeliner, which I do really like. So we're gonna try this. This is the mini eyebrow gel and it's worth 10 pounds. It's weird because there's no shade, but it's kind of like tinted like so. And it comes with a little brush like this. Let's just finish off with the brows. You guys know I've been liking a more natural brow look lately. I would definitely use this with like a brow pen, not on its own. Okay, so that's me trying all the contents of the box. I'm so far really pleased with everything I tried. Um, I was really impressed by the mask. That's what stood out to me the most. My skin felt great. I really like the cloth. It's definitely something I'm gonna be using. You can just pop this in the machine and it just washes itself. Two ones that are kind of really new to me is the moisturizer and the mist, but I'll let you guys know how I get on with them and with the mask, of course, but this instantly felt amazing on my skin. I'm really happy with everything. I feel spoiled. Considering that this box is so affordable, I definitely recommend you guys to check this box out. Is there another city in England you would consider moving to with your hubby? Probably not, I love London too much. I don't see myself outside of London. Why did you go back to black hair? I really missed it and lighter hair is very high maintenance. So I always felt like I needed to style it or something, so I was a bit tired of that. I'm gonna be honest though, when I look back at it, I really miss it. it and Troy, who did my hair, again, I'll, I'll link his page because he deserves the credit. He did my hair so well. Like, I've never had anyone do my hair so well. Love the ASOS haul with video with your sister. Something along those lines soon. Cheers. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. It's just going to be so hyped up after this, but I'm going to try and get her too, hopefully. It's so hard because she's doing uni exams at the moment, and I'm always working in the office, so we we barely have time to just be together in one place and film. If we are together, we're either like talking or gossiping or watching a film or eating. <laughs> do you watch Bollywood movies? If you do, who's your favorite actor, actress? Of course I watch Bollywood films. I haven't done so in a while though. My favorite film is Sathya. That just brings so much childhood memories to me. If you haven't watched the Sathya, like, you need to right now. It's not like a well-known Indian 
film, but you need to. It's got Rani Mukherjee in it. Actor, I think it has to be Shah Rukh Khan. I love all Shah Rukh Khan films, okay? And then actress, I think it would have to be... I really like Rani Mukherjee, but then I love Kareena Kapoor. I love Kajol. I really do like Deepika Padukone because she did a film called Padmavati. She was amazing in it. Like, she looks like a goddess. What age are you going to get married? I'm already married and I'm 24 years old. What's your favorite thing about baking? Honestly, it's the whole process of it. The whole process just makes me so happy and like mixing it, folding in the mixture. Um, that's my most favorite bit. All right, guys, I think this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I had so much fun doing a little bit of skincare with you guys and answering some of your questions. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. Also, don't forget to check out the Look Fantastic Beauty Box link in the info box, um, along with my coupon code that you can use with it. And yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video.